Okay. Aquarius. I go by the name of uh, Luminous Eyes. I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise, okay? These messages are for the next 48. They'll be a little bit different because I'm pulling cards that are crystal cards to tell you what crystal you need to have, meditate on, think about, look at, whatever, okay? Uh, for my last reading, I was just a little bit worked up, so you might see me smoke in this video. Don't mind me, okay? I'm not going to delay your message, um, Aquarius. We're going to get right into it. Nine of Cups came out. While I was shuffling, I also saw the, the chariot. If it, and I saw the four of wands in reverse. If it gives you a peace of mind to leave, go ahead. Take the car, take the keys to the house, take the kids, and leave. I'm getting that you've given all that you can give. Especially if it has anything to do with the water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. I'm getting that this person was brought into your life to give you children. But overall deck is the lover's card in reverse. Underneath that is the death card. Something is over. That was it. That's all they were here to do. To give you children. That's it. They're not part of your, your future. They're part of your past. Now you could have grown up with this person. You could have known this person since childhood. The decision is final. Things have ended and it's time to move on. Anything else to say to Aquarius? I get that I get that like you have a lot of love for someone, especially when in regards to a, a a water sign or an air sign, but I'm getting like your body needs rest. I'm getting you can't say or change this situation. You've been doing something for a long time or long enough. Some of you guys need to change your sleeping position. Some of your children are sleeping with you. It's time to, to cut that habit. I'm also seeing that it's time to start meditating or praying. Some of you guys could be meditating or praying for children, praying to get pregnant. I'm getting that some of you guys um, are talking in your sleep as well. I'm getting some of you guys need to change what you're asking for your prayers. I'm hearing I'm hearing two things. I'm hearing talking too much and I'm hearing um I'm done talking. I feel like you're putting a lot of effort into something that that is falling on deaf ears. Going back to what I said earlier. I feel like someone is waiting for your belly to grow, like they're waiting for the seed in your belly to grow so the child the, if you're pregnant Someone could be waiting for a paternity test. Can I get more cards, please, for Aquarius? I feel like if you're wondering what position you got pregnant in or what position that you're going to get pregnant in, first, 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 you need to be laying on your back. It's talking about laying down. I feel like you need to be laying down if you're a woman i also feel like you need to open your legs up to the sun or you're gonna open your legs up and produce a sun i'm also getting it's time to it's time to start writing your music or it's time to start living out your dreams aquarius
I feel like somebody's waiting for it to see if someone's going to change their habits or uh, they could be an alcoholic. But I'm getting like someone's been an alcoholic since a child, like a very young age. Or you've been overly sharing or I feel like you've been giving your body up way too much. I don't know. I feel like Aquarius, you're giving your body to somebody to produce children. I just said this the other day. One card at the top, please. Yeah, the temperance. I'm getting after you have this child. I'm getting that like um, you need to rest or heal your body. I'm also hearing you got two ways to do something. You got two options, I think. You can stay or leave. But I'm getting that if you choose to 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 hold on to something, it's only a small victory because I, I get I feel like I feel like you get hurt in the end or you're hurting right now. You're hurting that you have to leave someone behind to heal yourself. You're hurting that you couldn't stick around or see someone or have something. I'm getting that you had two options. Take pack your bags and leave or stay and be depressed or hurt or I feel like you're thinking about this though you're weighing your options I feel like you're looking at something from a different perspective all of a sudden out of nowhere you're looking at something from a different perspective that's some Aquarius ass shit to think one way and then out of nowhere to think about something completely different. I'm also getting, hmm, I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> A round of applause for Aquarius. You fell out of love. And you have now gotten your spiritual abilities back. I always say this, Aquarius, you're not here to fall in love. You're not here to fall in love, Aquarius. You're only here to make children, lead people by your abstract, weird-ass thinking. You need a cult ship. You're not a person that's supposed to be with one person. You're supposed to be with many of people. People don't understand that, though. The moment you fall in love, Aquarius, you lose your ability to see the future. You lose your ability to see anything, any foresight. All your spiritual abilities are gone when you fall in love. I'm getting you fell out of love and you started healing yourself. You decided to leave and now you're getting back your visions. Now you're getting back your dreams. Now you're getting back that spiritual gut feeling that God gave only to you and Pisces. I feel like my spread is saying that you need to see that only you and Pisces have an ability to see the future. But I feel like something in your future that you're choosing, Aquarius, you know that you're not supposed to choose. You know that you were supposed to take your time or choose something differently. Or you know you were supposed to really think something through before you choose this. Why is the temperance here, please? You guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I feel like, I feel like by the temperance, I'm, I, I feel like you need to get out in nature. You need to call on your ancestors, Aquarius, because they need to help you because your body has been producing children or you've been fucking a lot or drinking too much. I don't know. Like I Also, I feel like your heart has been really severely hurt. So you need to call on your angels to help you heal. You've been given the ability to to heal people from chi from a childhood or your children have that ability. But I'm getting that the ability is being blocked because you're blocked. Especially if this is something passed down to your two children. If you're pregnant right now and you're in a place of a hurt heart, you better find a way to find happiness because you're going to block the ability for your children, which I think it might come out as a water sign or they might have these placements prominent in their birth chart. They may even be a Sagittarius with these type of placements, but I feel like if you don't find a way to heal your heart, you're going to block your children's ability to literally heal people in the future. I'm getting that they're supposed to be a doctor. They do, they're supposed to be doing something with their hands. I don't know if this is cooking or literally like a doctor or a healer of some sort. 
if you don't find a way to figure it out you're gonna block your kids ability aquarius i'm getting that you've already gotten messages while you were asleep by the from um the moon or the sun or some shit like that you've already seen the future or you you will be able to see the future as soon as you start healing yourself you want your spiritual abilities back you already know what you got to do i already told you I feel like as soon as you heal yourself, your finances are already going to even be better. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting that you you you're weighing your options right now. You're taking your sweet time weighing your options, whether you want this family dynamic or whether you want something forever or not at all. I feel like something was only supposed to last like uh, two to six years. Someone could be trying to, um, look for a job. I feel like if you're looking for a job, it's going to take a little bit of time. Definitely put yourself in a manager's position. I feel like the job may not pay as much as you need to take care of your household, but I, I'm getting that it, I'm getting it's okay. It's an, it's enough to do what it needs to do. It may not be the luxury home, but it's a home. Now, someone could be trying to give you something that's going to make you happy. I've, if, it, if someone is trying to get you to drink something, it's because they're trying to get you to abort the child. Someone could be asking you to do this. We're going to move on from that because I feel like I'm about to go too deep. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to go too deep. <sighs> the disrespect. Hi. I don't care. I'm trying to tell you it's always some shit. It's always some shit. Maybe I'm supposed to keep going on. Maybe that's why I just did that. Let me keep going on. Any more messages, please, for Aquarius? I feel like if you think that someone is trying to destroy you, sneak around, lie to you, steal from you, they are. They are. I feel like someone is trying to steal from your children as well. Like I said, I feel like someone has a habit here. I don't know if this is a drinking habit, abuse habit. I feel like someone takes all your money or spends spends recklessly. Or someone doesn't have a job or means of taking care of someone. Or they're selfish. Can I get one card at the top, please, for Aquarius? Yeah, the hangman in reverse. Why is the hangman here? What What is the hangman doing? Yeah, you need to let something go. I feel like you're thinking about this. I need to let this go. The devil in reverse, you do. For sure. I, I'm getting a year ago, you should have let it go a year ago, or you did. I'm getting that you should have never... I'm, I'm, I'm getting that a year ago, you had a lot of hope for something. But I'm getting that you're about to be restored spiritually or financially. Maybe with a job. I'm also getting that your child, like I said earlier... I'm getting that they have a they have a lot of spirituality in them, but I'm getting they're not awoke yet, or they won't have these gifts unlocked if you're unhappy. Moving on. Can I get a card for the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups? Why is this here? Other messages. I feel like someone makes you genuinely happy, but there's no longevity in it. Okay. Now someone could be trying to juggle you between two between someone else or this is what you're thinking, but I'm getting eventually someone's going to drop someone else. They may drop this Capricorn, any earth sign, Taurus or Virgo, but I feel like someone is going to be dropped. Now they now this could be a Sagittarius that's going to get dropped too. Moving on. Can I get a card please? Thank you. Moving on. It says just chill. I feel like a Sagittarius is asking you to come over to their house and chill with them, but I'm getting that you have you have two options. You have two options. You could go chill with the, the, the Earth sign or the Sagittarius. I feel like you should chill with the, the Sagittarius and not the Earth sign. Can I get one card, please? Okay, it says you can have it all. Okay, I'm getting that Um, you don't feel codependent on someone anymore. You don't feel like they have, they rule your life or they you need them to take care of you anymore. Can I get one last card, please, right here? Thank you. Everything is okay. Aww. 
your spiritual ability is about to come back you have so many sixes in here i think that you're extremely heavily protected but uh, you also have the number five several times you're going through a lot of changes right now I, i'm getting that you've been going through a change since the last year aquarius okay financially spiritually i'm getting that like um Something felt like a small victory, but in the end, it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. This is why you want to leave. This is why you want to move. You may want to relocate or go somewhere else. Moving on. Can I get a card, please, for Aquarius? What is the crystal? What is the crystal that Aquarius needs? What is the crystal that Aquarius needs? It says, um, Shung Shunglite. These cards are fucking ton tires, okay? So, excuse me with the Mercury retrograde and the bullshit on these cards if I sound like uh, aller illiterate. Moving on. It says, um, Shungite, Shungite. What is it? A vibrant, purpley, electronic, void black. The surface of uh, Sunlight calls for the overly worth realms, dreamy, psychedelic, and it is illuminating energy, encouraging you to leave behind reality and visit those far out regions. Aquarius, I know I know what I'm talking about. I know that I know what I know what I know I know. I'm getting that you're thinking of something from a completely different perspective than somebody else. Someone can't let go a specific type of thought or a specific action. And I'm getting that like you don't see it the way that they see it. You see it from a whole nother perspective. This is why you're letting them go. They keep telling you to chill. Everything's okay. It, it's not you. It's me. I'm getting like you're on some other, other, other shit. Bitch, fuck out of here. You can't see it from my perspective because you're small minded is how I feel you saying that shit. You're not on my level. Moving on. It says who needs it. Anyone planning on escape from the confines of space and time, like I said, you you were feeling stuck or you feel stuck, that you want to let shit go. This is you you cannot even stop thinking about how you're about to drop something, how you can manage to get out of a situation or move on or blah. Move it on. It says, who needs it? Anyone planning to escape from the confines of space and time? Where to put it? Oh, that makes sense. Aquarius, you rule the future. You rule will. So I'm getting that you have the future to make. You have the will to make a better future for you. Your family. Your children. Moving on. Where to put you. Where to put. Wherever you dream. Meditate or grow. Your light. This is where you put the sunlight. When to use it. When you are called to take your spiritual practice to another level. It is easy to stay stuck in something that isn't working. There's a comfort to safe and status quo. But there's an unknown out there with unlimited bliss and possibilities. Ask the sunlight to lighten the way for you. Stress the limits of your imagination. I'm getting, you've been getting a lot of fucking synchronicities on what to do in regards to your future. You need the sunlight. This is what it looks like. Your next card is Bloodstone. Okay. Bloodstone is an earthy green spotted with seriously activated red jasper in the middle ages some believe that red spotless spotches sorry spotches on the stone surface were the blood of christ okay that's deep who needs it the consistently overworked and completely drained by the soul-sucking modern life capricorns yeah for real the hangman and the devil card in reverse definitely pisces you need to let something go that you felt codependent on or someone that feels codependent on you i definitely feel like if you are an aquarius and you're dealing with a fucking capricorn let that shit go they're they're stressing you out it says where to put it wherever you do the important work spiritual physical and psychedelic why do i keep using this word 
when to use it. When you're totally blended dry and it's time to get into your body and start feeling your, your damn self. Sleep, get some exercise, take nourishment and call to the bloodstone to drag your ass out of the house to face the day. Chin up, head high, pull your, pull up your vitals. Moving on. Your last one is called Rhoda Rhoda Dicite. Rhoda Dicite. What is it? A rosy red chill, rose pink. It is it, Rhoda Dicite is the go-to stone for the bent and broken hearted. Who needs it? Anyone grieving or really, really, really feels depressed a major loss of a relationship expired or an outdated idea of self okay where to put it against your chest while you breathe through your heart or slide a favorite piece into your bra you know you're wearing one mm -hmm, i'm not moving on i don't even own one but whatever don't judge me it says when to use it when your heart hurts you feel you feel all these feelings, even the most painful, and still be gentle with yourself. Let this crystal remind you that this is too, this too shall pass. And you, especially you, will absolutely will heal in love again when you're ready. Soften your heart. So this is for your heart. I'm getting you need to work on your heart chakra and your imagination. What does Aquarius soulmate have to say to them, please? What does Aquarius soulmate have to say to them, please? What does their soulmate have to say to them, please? What does Aquarius soulmate have to say to them? It came up inverted to those that care. It says life is great. Big cameras. Throw all the paint on it that you can. I'm getting you can make your life be whatever you want. Whatever you want it to be. It's time for you to be happy. Okay. Can I get... um? Oh. So you guys could be dealing with any earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Any water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You guys could be dealing with um, any fixed, fixed moon sign, I feel like. Or Sagittarius. Wait a minute. I'm doing something backwards. Why are these the three... Why is these the, 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 the crystals that they need? Why is bloodstone? Why is bloodstone what Aquarius needs? Tell me about the bloodstone and why they need that. I'm getting you need strength to keep fighting. I'm also getting that you need, you, you need this stone because I'm getting you may be feeling weak or someone is like really, really taking all your passion for something. Moving on. Can I get why the rhodocyte is here? Why is a road aside here? Aww. The six of swords. First of all, you're heavily protected. I feel like this 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 will protect you even more. I'm getting that I'm getting that you need this because you you're you need protection on your journey because you're going to leave or you left already. I'm also getting that this crystal needs to be around your children. Again, back to back to your you being pregnant. You being pregnant and and, and um, you need to work on your heart. You want to make sure your, your child can't feel the grief or the pain that you're going through. Okay. Can I get one card at the top? One card at the top, please, for Aquarius. It says, stop, stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. It says, spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. The card is pink, so you guys could be dealing with an air sign or a fire sign. Can I get one card, please? It says, shut your mouth and listen. The card is pink. It says, stop talking. I'm getting that this is um, something that someone is saying to you. Heavy emphasis on someone that's... Uh, a air sign or a fire sign it says stop it says stop sleeping so damn much wake up you are missing some cool shit i feel like this is what a water sign is saying to you stop sleeping so damn much i'm getting that they want you to pay more attention to them 
Moving on. One last card, please. One last card. Thank you. Ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. You already know what it is. I said what I said. Until we meet again, Aquarius.